Hey, what is up guys? Kitty Kim and today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Remastered Mod Showcases on my channel. I hope you guys are having a super sick day and today we are going to be looking at a beautiful, simple, but yet stunning mod for Skyrim. It is absolutely awesome. It is going to be the Cold Harbor Daedric Retextured slash standalone. Now, this you're probably thinking by the thumbnail, this is just Blue Daedric. I do not want Blue Daedric. That is boring. Well, I'm going to slap you in the face because a lot of people love the fact that you can change the default Daedric armor to something different. It's probably my most requested, actually, is Daedric armor to be retextured. I don't know why, because uh, there's so many other great armors that you could use apart from vanilla, but retextured. But this is going to be the cold armor Daedric. Now, Awesome little mod. Obviously, if you want it down in the description, as always, go and grab it. PC and Xbox One, as per usual. Damn you, Sony. But uh, once you've got it installed and you're ready to go, all you can do is go over to your forge. Like always, you're obviously going to need the Daedric perk to craft your Daedric gear. I'm going to go into Daedric, and as you can tell, if we go down here, here we go. So, Daedric gear. It's always been one of those things that's pretty much hit and miss. So you're probably thinking this is an incredibly pointless video, but for the people that do want it, I'm going to bring it to them. Guys, remember, there's a, there's a mod every single day, so please don't panic if this isn't your thing. As you can tell by the detailing, which is awesome, it is changed pretty much a lot, to be totally honest. I mean, from the original, there used to be a little bit of red scattered here and there, but as you can tell, there is a lot of blue scattered through there, and it does look pretty damn awesome when we wear it, and I will show that off as soon as we get into the video slightly further as well. Obviously, the arrows are, I believe, blue-tipped as well. I'm not too sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. I've never created the arrows itself. All the weapons are exactly the same. The armor itself has just changed from blue. It is a massive, significant difference. There's obviously a lot of textures running through this. There's obviously a couple of different blues. The gauntlets and the chests really inspire me to uh, make this video because they just look absolutely beautiful. You can tell by the thumbnail with the helmet as well. The sort of middle section, so the middle half of the character, and obviously the boots are the similar darker colour as well. So the boots are here, not too bad, as you can tell they aren't vanilla textures, they are being retextured entirely, which is awesome. Unfortunately, the bows and the weapons are still red, which is a little bit of a little bit of bumming. I mean I'd love to see the sort of effect running through this, the retexture, the blue running through to the weapons as well. That'd be absolutely sick. The gauntlets look absolutely insane. As you can tell there's that two-tier blue, obviously on the back of the forearm there, or the back of the wrist shall I say. There is a very dark blue and obviously on the top there's kind of like a neon blue which is absolutely awesome. As again, shame about the sword is going to be that red which is a little bit sad face. Blue which is awesome but I love the fact they have they kept the red eyes through. They haven't changed the, to the blue eyes. Not too sure how that would look as well but that might be a sick option to change as well. That would look pretty damn cool. The shield I thought would have been blue. I'm not too sure if it is. I personally think it's the bog standard daydream so it's just going to be a black. I don't think there's actually any red or blue on it default anyway. So not too bad. So yeah. The blue all round, it does look pretty damn sexy, so I'm going to show it off for you guys right now, so just bear with me two seconds while I throw it on. So it's all ready to go guys, obviously, bear in mind guys, you've got to think about this as well. Daedric is one of those iconic pieces of armour, I mean if you can change it however much you can, it still looks awesome, and if you're actually using it for what it's actually used for, so like a functional thing, and you are low on mats, and you are playing with lore, or traditional vanilla game, but you want those slight tweaks, and mods like this are absolutely awesome, because Daedric gear is not bad in armor rating value either, so bear that in mind as well, but as you can tell straight off the back, a luminous blue through the chest piece, and all the way to the front is that neon glowing br blue, blue, that blue, obviously you can tell by the wrists and the forearms there, there is that darker blue, and you can tell just by the sort of little loincloth there, I don't know if you can see that, or you can tell by the back as well, that there is that, there you go, that darker blue, running through there as well which is absolutely awesome it just it just puts some life back into the old daedric gear and that's probably why i wanted to cover it. and a lot of people want to see it as well they love to see daedric maybe altered or tweaked ever so slightly just uh, for those people that are playing vanilla i just want something a little bit extra just to change their game so i thought 
why not change my game and uh, add something else into it like this? I mean, to be honest, I'll probably keep this because I particularly don't like the box standard Daedric gear. I think it's very, very boring. So to have a nice luminous blue mixed in to it, it's just, it's, it's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. So, for the rest of this video, we're going to take the standard, I suppose you could call it, Daedric gear into battle. Apart from, we're going to take this luminous blue Daedric gear into battle. Let's see how it works, see how it flows, see what it looks like as well. See if there's anything that stands out to us or to you because you'll be watching the footage but that's all from me guys hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did let me know by hitting that like button it does mean that uh, you like these daedric things let me know if you don't like them let's have a comment section discussion why not let's just go ham but guys until the next one get a kev here and get a kev out